and we're back. Yes. <laughs> Max, you, were done. you just are insane. You've got now more gold teeth than even your younger brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and, you're wearing, and you're wearing a newly purchased pair of thrift shop, as we say, for the American viewer. The charity shop, as you say, in the UK. Yes. Or per souls. Yes, yes. Thrift even shop. With, with, with you with like that American thrift uh, shop. Thrifty. Vernacular there. Thrifty. Let's a very, very thrifty. fine purchase. Anyway, moving swiftly along. I shall not remove them. You, no, 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 because you are, you are so, so branché. Uh, down with the kids, as I like yes. to call it. Anyway, look, we have the um, commemorative guillotine here from the Ferranti collection. The Christmas guillotine. The, the, the guillotine. Which, 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 the, what do you see in every shop window during the Christmas <laughs> period? <laughs> yes, indeed. And we are preparing for Easter by bringing the guillotine out. Also, yes. Could you any festive season? Any festive season we celebrate in this country with the you, use of a guillotine. You've got the padlock on, so but before you cut it. Yes. What is it? Bolivar Bellicosos, Finos, it is the Reserva. Reserva. It is the 2020 edition, so Coseca 2016. And this is a cigar I have not seen, and nor have I seen the one, the, the predecessor. The one that we, I know, I know. The 2019. Oh, God, um, that wasn't very effective. You've got to hold it, don't you? Oh! Oh, God, I've wrecked it. I've taken that's, far too much off. That's fine, don't worry about it. You're not going to smoke down today anyway, are you? No, I know, but I mean, I want to, get, I want to benefit from the Figurado. Maybe yes. you ought to take a little more care than I did when... Yes. That's enough. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, let go, let go, let go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That's proper. Yes, yes. Oh, it's kind of like shredded the end of mine. Yeah, but that's the best. That's the one. Yeah. That's the best. So people watching this will be appalled. People by watching the, this, the the way they're treating, nobody does. Treating these kind of incredibly sought after and unavailable cigars. Unavailable. I mean, this is, this is the apotheosis of the Falks and Sons um, choice of cigar. It's unavailable. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's not, actually, it's not unpopular. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going I'm to be I'm assuming it popular. would be popular were it available. But I think this was released at the Habanos Festival. In t was there a Habanos Festival in 2020? Mm hmm There was. So this was released I attended then. it. Oh, this is when the Linea Doro was released mm -hmm. as well, wasn't it? Very good for God. Um, and so here we are. I was on the rooftop of the hotel um, and the Kempinski. And I, I was sort of toying. I'd, I'd had a sort of lunch of maybe a pizza or something or maybe some sort of fish dish. Wasn't and there a point where you just visited the lobster shack at one the point? The lobster shack. Ah, oh, the lobster shack. The hut, as we used to call mm. it. That was, a, that was at the National. Um, and then there was Shea something or other, which we went to for a while with Fabien. Uh, Shea, I can't remember what it was, Shea. Anyway, but I, I, and I had this incredibly sort of fat Bolivar cigar in my, in my breast pocket. Mm. And on a whim, a little bit of madness grabbed me. I set fire to the thing, and it was delicious. It was, what it was? Yeah, I mean, I mean, normally I would avoid Bolivar because it's like sort of lying down in the, you know, face of a steamroller or something like that. But that's more kind of Ramon Iones or Partagas. Bolivar, it's got the strength, but quite a smooth, rich flavor to it. God, so you really not... are, you're really enlightening me. Well, I mean, I don't know. You've been smoking for probably well, well, double double my life. No, when did you start smoking cigars? When you started cigars? smoking cigars, must have been in the, 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 the early 1990s. It was your grandfather who put me onto it. Um, uh, yes, uh, terribly mild. Terribly mild, terribly mild. Proselytizing the feeling of well-being that, mm. they, that they do. But one, and we have also, we also we received, with the Hein Cigar Reserve XO Cognac, 25th anniversary from 1996 to 2021. So obviously we this have... This is a 20... good cigar, isn't it? It's a very fine cigar. It's a very good cigar. Actually, viewer... It's not like the other crap we often smoke. No, no, show. no, we never smoke crap. We never, we never smoke... smoke crap. It we just, only just smoke the do... finest cigars known to man. But this is of a fineness. A little time to age, a little time to settle down. Yeah, yes, that's always, the, that's, always, that's always the sort of euphemism for don't touch it at the moment. Yeah. It could benefit, it will, it will age beautifully, but yeah, this right. actually smokes excellently right this minute, yeah, it's if, a very not, good cigar. if not earlier. And you can taste, you can taste the Coseca, the Coseca 2016. So what they do as reservers is uh, three years of age, well, tobacco of, of uh, age for three years, plus the year since harvest, I think it is. Plus also the year it's knocking around in Cuba waiting to be shipped. Plus yeah. also... 
So it's plus so it's, plus plus. So it's about. I mean, it's about forty years old by the time it gets here. One was it sixteen. It's now six years old. Yeah, but it's great. And um, I tell you, if you we, were, we 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 recently enjoyed the uh, Romeo and Juliet at Churchill Reserve of two thousand and twelve with uh, Kirby Allison. And that was a Edwin very Eddie. good episode of Kirby Allison. Kirby uh, Allison. Kirby Allison the UK. Vision. So and and here we've got some alcohol uh, of the uh, of the French variety. And neither you nor I really. Well, I certainly don't. But 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 take. I insist that you take. But the this top was off. created by um, Nick Freeman and. Um, I was there, Nick Freeman and Mr. Hine, Bernard Hine. Yes, this was. And their I remember creation. we went for a tasting on the on the Hine private jet, mm. and Nick Freeman had a, had that morning picked up an excellent and beautiful new cashmere blazer from his tailor, mm. and we flew down. Uh, to the Hein vineyards. I yeah. would like to say the Hein factory, but that would be denigrating it. The Hein factory. The Hein factory, but the Hein vineyards. We, and then we had this marathon tasting of cigars and cognacs that began, I think, at 11 o'clock in the morning and finished at 3 o'clock the two days later. And Not quite, no, but I mean, it finished, it finished to the point that I needed... The, when was a, this? When was this? This was in 1996, I think. Uh, I was that's the year I was drinking. born. And I was still drinking. Maybe you were. I can't remember. I mean, I, were you born then? Uh, I think so. Well, I think you might have been. But this was uh, this was before you were born. This was you were born. I don't know. In maybe, May. Maybe it was. Maybe I look. I couldn't tell you. May twenty eighth. But whatever it was, we well, flew I'm going down. To we test had this, this marathon tasting. Should be half decent then, shouldn't it? Well, it it is a jolly good. I mean, we tasted it against some five thousand year old ones. You know, some Assyrian, ancient Assyrian cognac, some sort of cognacs that were bottled at the time of Jesus Christ. Do I put the whole thing in? No, I wouldn't if I were you. It's quite strong. All right, okay. Maybe you could put a splash of Coca Cola to sort of liven it up a bit or something. Oh, uh, got quite a lot of alcohol in it. Well, I think that's the point. Made in France. <laughs> <laughs> Very France good. It's a good cigar, this, isn't it? It's, it's a very a good cigar. I mean, France much is better so than that other one we were smoking the other day. Yes, but viewer, put that put that thought <laughs> from your mind. All the cigars we smoke are uniformly excellent, <laughs> even the ones that are more uniformly excellent than the others. It's a proper thing. But, and I love the, but this is harking back to the first ever. Well, aside from the, um, oh, pardon me, I'm, I'm, I'm talking a lot of rubbish. <laughs> Apart from the other ones. <laughs> this was, no, I was going to say this is like the, the, the first, harking back to the first uh, Reserva, but that was the first regional edition, which was the Ramon Belli Crossos. Uh, the first ever Reserva was the Cohiba Selection. The Cohiba Selection, which is... Had 30 cigars in it or something like that. Yeah, of, of six eight sizes. Pyramides, six six eight, si No, eight. six sizes, six, I mean, there was, but it was a sort of very random selection. It was like a sort of, um, you remember, you won't remember this, but... In the 1970s, there were biscuit selections, which you would get in a box, and these biscuits would be laid out, and there'd be different shapes of biscuits, some with icing sugar on them, some without mm. icing sugar on them, some with jam sandwiched in the middle, that kind of thing. It's kind of like that. I think they'd taken, they'd obviously seen the great success of these biscuits and decided to market <laughs> Cohiba Reserva in exactly the same way. But that was, and then, and then closely followed by the, the, um, the part the of the Series D Reserva is the finest. Yeah, 2005. That for me is the, the, and then, the, and then also the Particles Lusitania Grand Reserva. Those that for me are the two best. And then there was a, there was that weird one, the 2007 Monte Cristo number no. four Reserva. Yeah, that was, that was a, Curious one. I mean, but your favourite surely is the Ciclo Six Grand Reserve. Never had it, I don't think. I thought you had a box. No, no, no. I got two boxes of the Particle Series D. I found them in the shop at the National Hotel. Oh, it tastes quite strong. This stuff. But I'm sure it does. It's a fine cognac from the France, from the France, from yeah. the French region of yeah. Europe. Big fan. Yeah, but it tastes we like honey. It's Honey very good. I used to love drinking. Well, I used to love drinking anything, but I mean, I used to love drinking. There was nothing like a nice cognac unless it was a nice. So beer why can't or you nice call certain things? Why are certain things called brandy and things called cognac? What's the cognac difference? Cognac is. Uh, I mean, it's appellation contrôlée, and the French are very sort of hot on protecting these things. So the cognac is the French one. There's fine bois. There's bon bois. There's champagne. There's fine champagne. But then there's the the, the but Ararat, no, but champagne, the there's Armenian the, brandy. Ararat is oh, the yeah. Armenian brandy. But anything that isn't that is a sort of distilled alcohol. Quali I mean, not. I mean, and if it's kind of brownish and made of grapes and is strong, you can call it a brandy. It's good smoke, isn't so it? So there's fundador, which is that Spanish one, for example. Yeah, not. not I, I don't really. I don't drink really. Do How I? do you enjoy the brandy? 
At the cognac. What is the alcohol? <laughs> they will save us from the making the mistake of just calling it alcohol. <laughs> um, the alcoholic libation. Because one of the comments from the viewer who posts... Yes, yeah, all right. It's quite the, nice. The same viewer often posts maybe, maybe 50, 60, 70 comments on one of our videos. Yeah, they're very kind and they watch adopting, it a few thousand adopting, times adopting, as well. Adopting different locations, pretending to be from Brazil or from uh, Canada. From or from, uh, Apparently we can make money off YouTube now, now that we've got enough views. Viewer, please could you comment viewer, viewer, as to viewer, how we can go about carry on watching. Go about how, how we can go about making money off this stuff. It'd be important for us. I'm gonna I need read, a I'm cash. gonna read you now a selection from the uh, cigars. Gone up. My bike keeps breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke cigars on your motorcycle. Mm -mm. I used to smoke cigars on a bicycle. Mm. Do you remember that? Mm -mm -mm -hmm. It was always very good pulling away from the light, smoking a massive double Corona, <laughs> pulling away at great speed, outstripping Ferraris and, 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 and sports cyclists and motorcyclists. I'd be halfway up Notting Hill before they'd had time, and they were leaving a trail of blue, yes. fragrant blue smoke in my wake. Well, leave us, uh, read us a part of I'll the read great, us, read, read us the story of the great liberator. Viewer, are you sitting comfortably? I take it that's a yes. 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 Simon Bolivar, the brand eponym, was a pretty vigorous chap, achieving mythical status as the man who threw off the yoke of imperial Spain. And boy, did he like yoke throwing. His record as a liberator is impressive. In 1821, he freed his native Venezuela. That's one liberation. A year later, he made it a hat trick, liberating Colombia, Ecuador. That's three. Took a year off in 1823, but 20, 1824 saw him back in action, free from bringing, you know, saw him back on form, bringing freedom to Peru, adding Upper Peru to name today known as Bolivia. He had a country as well as a cigar name. Is that a fifth him. or is that still four? No, no, no. If we count Upper Peru as a separate country, that's, that's five. five. So, and, that he, and, he, and he did that in 1825. So, I mean, you know, that's not bad. That's five countries in five years. That's all right. I mean, Liberated. It's not half bad. Um, thus, he was an apposite choice of brand name for a cigar launched in 1902 after Cuba had kicked out the Spaniards, ending just over four centuries of rule from Madrid. There you go. That's all you need to know about the Bolivar, apart from the fact it normally is so strong it rips your head off and kicks it into a corner. There is the, uh, there's actually the, uh, the Bolivar, the Casa de Libano edition, the Libertador, the Liberator. Yes, and the Maquismo. The Bolivar Maquismo. It's got great. The, the, the I mean, names, the, the, the Libertador is a huge cigar. It's like a baton. Anyway, I think we've got to stop and we've got to smoke and we've got to try not to fall asleep or hallucinate or pass out and um, we'll return. Gosh, and we're back. Mm. I, I mean, how was the, how was the, uh, the fine and rare and uh, Cigar Reserve XO uh, Hein Special Cognac? It's quite strong. That's good. That's yeah. exactly what they aimed for when they were blending it up. How do you want it, they said. Quite forget, strong. Forget fragrant, complex, honeyed and delicious. We just want strength. And you said I could see the legs if I swelled the glass. The yes, spider's the legs. Spider's legs. legs. <laughs> they make so it Freddy with. suggested that they made it with spider's legs. And you get what the church was. Church windows. Church windows. I mean, I'm a one-man wine appreciation course. Yeah, it's brilliant. It couldn't be better. But it's good because it comes in miniature bottles. And that's the most, it's very attractive. Look at that. It's very useful. Yes. So well, this is a special edition as well, this one. Of course it's a special edition. We don't mess around here. We only have special edition stuff. Got 25th anniversary written in italics on it. I mean, that, if, you, if, it, if it gets more special it, it, that, it was 96. I told you. Yeah. See, it's the year of your birth. Yeah, it is. Well, that's something to keep, isn't it? Something worth Well, having. you can have the other bottle because I won't be drinking it. And I think your mother prefers champagne, right. as far as I remember. Very, very good. If that sort of, if that, if that case of Bollinger in the back of the Fiat 500 is anything to go by. <laughs> I hope it's in a wicker basket on the back. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh. So, um, I think you can tell, viewer, that we are, you know, pretty impressed by this cigar. It's actually probably quite good. It's better would, than most of the other ones. We've, I, I said that already. Not most of the other ones, but we've had some cigars that we've not been terribly keen on. Obviously, our, our, obviously we're keen on everything. We're, we're keen on most things. If but not sometimes everything. our keenness is of a different level. Yes. This is keenness of an altogether more exalted level. But this is an exceptionally good cigar. It is. And even for me, viewer, 
and I'm not the kind of person. I mean, I'm possibly the least macho person I know. Mm. I don't. I, I purposefully avoid. I say, could I have, for example, were I drinking cognac? I would say, may I have an alcohol-free cognac that is on the weaker side? Yes. But so this is this is all reservers are released in nice lacquer boxes of twenty. Grand reserve is fifty. This was released to me in a beautiful screw top plastic tube yes the ones i think the um, police put evidence in knives and syringes and such well, like. very it to be a very small knife um it's extendable so okay it can um, be quite a large knife well a moderately sized knife maybe a sort of bodkin i don't know what that is or a stiletto so an, an opinel but i doubt the, the well an opinel would be a bit the, too i think but the opinel is more rustic it's more goes what very you, well with the cognac the opinel it? would be more the kind of yes you would be riding your 2cv along country lane with Drinking some cognac with some crusty yeah. bread maybe and, an, a, and a, an aged camembert or something like that and then you would stop spread a checked rug on the floor get out the vintage strong cognac <laughs> and, uh, and the strong enjoy, cognac. enjoy a enjoy a baguette yes I mean, France, what a proper country. Read some Emile Zola. We love that. It yeah. is a good place. I haven't been in a long time. France is a proper country. Um, I, I was actually speaking to a... French person? No, no, a customer of, my, a customer of mine who, um, who sent some cigars to a friend of his in France. And eventually the man received them, but each cigar was slashed, cut open. And it was cut open in customs. And that's still sent to the recipient. That is not what I call gentlemanly behaviour. Quite French, though, isn't it? Well, I would like to think not. <laughs> but, I mean, I like to think better of the French as a nation than that. But that's great. Instead of just not sending it to him or just returning it, they slashed, they opened it up, took time to slash all 25 what cigars. Were they, what were they looking for? The liqueur? No, 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 were they, they looking for they the were, liqueur? No, they, they weren't looking for anything. They were just making sure he couldn't enjoy them. And then sending it to him, so he was terribly excited to receive them. That's and then terribly it's sad, it's Max. Don't tell me those sad stories. I, I, I mean, life I is difficult enough without hearing more sorrow. It's very upsetting. I hope it was a box of uh, Upman Half Coronas and nothing more. Or maybe uh, um, a Vig what's that? What's that? Vigueros. A Vigueros, the Manianitas or the Centrofinos. <laughs> you want to tell me about the Vigueros, which is the opposite end of the qualitative scale to this, mm. I would imagine. Well, if they've got age in them, they're all right. Most of them do have age because nobody is lunatic enough to buy them. I was now. having, I was smoking some Manionitas from 2014, which were quite pleasant. But then I smoked a Centrophenos from 2019 or something like 20, that. 2024, probably. Yeah, which was very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I see you haven't lost your touch when it comes to fleshing out the flavour profiles. It bad, was, good, strong. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't very good, I must admit. It wasn't very good. It was bad. But the <laughs> was it strong? <laughs> no, but I, you could tell. I, I even, I even. Uh, sometimes I'm too eager to toast the end, and sometimes just you know, put the cigar in my mouth and light it up immediately, uh, with a Zippo lighter or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> with a petrol sick rag, <laughs> um, Molotov cocktail. Um, but uh, I, I even lit this up, and the, you know, you even did it properly, and it, it still, it, it still, it, it I, before I even tasted it, it smelled bad. Now, I think you want to talk there of a characteristic earthiness redolent of the Cuban campaign. Yeah, it's not like a like barnyard, but like kind of an unkempt kind of barnyard full of, I don't know, strange creatures. <laughs> not spiders, not, even, not even cattle, but just, I don't know, dinosaurs or something. Dinosaurs, like that. yes. Yes. I wasn't terribly keen on it. Well, often you find that, you know. The cigar smells like a. Like dinosaur, a, like a barnyard of dinosaurs. <laughs> so, I mean, it's uh, I mean, it's often remarked upon. It's it's actually a flavour profile that many brands tend to try and aim for. The uh, <laughs> barnyard full of dinosaurs. I think in one of the David, you know those Davidoff instructions for the flavours that you have, the mm. nine flavours that you have. Three, three, Almonds, third. cream, barnyard full of dinosaurs. <laughs> barnyard full of dinosaurs. <laughs> Very good. I don't think there's even such a thing called the barnyard. Is there? I think I it's a know. farmyard, isn't it? Wow. <sighs> I don't know. You're not. I'm I mean, you not didn't a farmer exactly myself. attend. You didn't exactly attend the Sirencester Agricultural College, did no, you? Grass frightens me. I can't step foot on it. Concrete is the way to go. Yeah, ruin my shoes as well. Yeah, it does actually grass. You yeah, know. yeah, terrible. Especially if it's damp. Thing. And people say keep off the grass. I'm more than happy to do. Yeah, so. I mean, you, do you need Who to be wants exhorted? To go on the you don't need to be anyway. exhorted. I mean, you need to be kind of encouraged to stand on it. it. Might be moist or kind of 
Or well, living, yeah, maybe living creatures in there, like dinosaurs. Small <laughs> sure, sure. Small dinosaurs. <laughs> or some spider's legs before they're being made into cognac. Yeah. Anyway, viewer. That's enough of that crap. I think this. I think you you might have you might have gathered that we quite enjoyed this cigar. It's all right. We might have let that slip. We might have given the impression of taking pleasure in these fine tobacco products. It's a good construction as well, and it tastes. It doesn't taste like a dino like dinosaurs. It tastes. <laughs> it tastes it tastes quite nice. That's another it one. It tastes quite uh, another, another. It's not bad. It's good, and it does. It doesn't. It doesn't taste. It tastes okay. It tastes quite nice. It tastes like kind of uh, tobacco, the Cuban variety. Okay, let's let, 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 us, let us before we before we Aged. say before we Aged. say goodbye. No, no, no. We say before we say goodbye to the viewer. Let us try and attempt a serious assessment of this flavour. As if, as if by magic, my cigar had gone out. Coffee, um, coffee, Co oh, we'll get coffee. Coffee, cream, almonds. No, no almonds, no. You haven't got almonds. A little bit salty mm -hmm. on the lips, mainly mm -hmm. though. Smooth, very, very smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth. Toasted. Probably kind of misleading. Because Roasted nuts. I'm assuming it's quite strong, but I haven't felt yeah. anything yet. Anyway. Viewer, I think we've taxed, your, t taxed your patience far too long that. as it is. It's a good cigar. Buy it if you can. You won't be able to. But if you can... I mean, you've got to wait for the Hoyo Double Corona to come out first. Oh, yes, the one this. that didn't appear last time before this. Anyway, yeah, viewer. Yeah, yeah, thank viewer, you, we, thank we, you. We've all got homes to go to. Goodbye. Good night.